Hi everyone, this is Maggie from My Favorite Things. So, you're gonna see a video of me comparing a Chanel Classic Flap in medium large size and Chanel Mademoiselle bag. Um, they are very similar in look, I think, and in, in function, how much it fits. So I thought it might be helpful for some of you considering purchasing one or the other. Um, and also, I'm doing this introduction to let you know that I have sold my Mademoiselle bag. It is no longer in my collection. Um, a lovely lady in Canada purchased it, and um, she loves it. I'm so glad she loves it. But um, I sold that, and instead I got a pre-love medium-large classic. And, and you'll hear why and things like that, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and um, I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks. So today I have a comparison video for you. I am going to compare the Chanel Medium Large Classic Flap in caviar leather with silver hardware to Chanel Mademoiselle, vintage Mademoiselle bag that I purchased in Paris last year. So a little bit of a backstory. So the story with this one is that on our way to our vacation in India and Dubai, we stopped over in Paris airport and I saw the Medium Large, I believe it was in silver hardware, I saw this exact combination. Oh no, it was gold. I don't remember anyway and we decided that not to purchase it because we were on our way to a vacation and and we didn't want to lug this around everywhere so we said okay hopefully it'll be here when we on our way back because we're gonna we were gonna stop over at Paris again and we just said you know if it was meant to be it'll be there if it's not then it won't be there well there was only one there at that time and it, it, when when we came back two weeks later it was no longer I mean it was like almost three weeks later it was no longer avail available so when it because it wasn't available I wanted to get something else and we searched and searched and um, they had this available I instantly fell in love you can see how similar they are in style except this one to me looked like a combination of the medium classic flap and um, and the do a little bit like a boy bag right and it's again with black it's got a little black cc here with the edging that's silver it's absolutely gorgeous and what i loved about it and i thought this is it this is what i'm gonna wear you know this is my end all be all no now i'm at purse piece um it is that strap is much longer than the medium large and so i could wear this cross body i'm five two and I can certainly, I mean, I think unless you're really, really tall, um, I think if you're 5'3", five, 5'4", five, even 5'5", five, five, I would imagine that you could wear this uh, crossbody. Uh, I will measure the length from top. So here's top. And bottom. it's like 12, 12 and 3 quarter inches. Okay. So that's the Mademoiselle bag. And this one, and again, I'm just doing it double is nine and a half inches and if i pick this out and this way this length is i would say 16 and three quarter inches and this length for this one for the mademoiselle bag is 23 inches a little over 23 okay so clearly you can wear this crossbody and I love that about it and so I came home and I wore it and I loved it but I didn't wear it that much because I was so I was a little concerned well it's a Chanel I didn't want it I mean in comparison to my canvas bags I'm much more careful with it I did wear it to my daughter's graduation and I thought it was super functional um, and then and but I noticed that because when I wear my ring, my diamond ring, every time I reach in, I go like this, I, you know, I'm reaching in and come out. Somehow I was getting scratches right here as I'm bringing things out. So I can see a little scratch on it um, because, and because I was getting scratches in the, in the inside, I was like super paranoid to use it. Really? It's, it's, it's me. It's really me. But anyway, so I wanted to show you the, 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 the 
I wanted to show you the differences and similarities. It's very similar, and the size is very similar to each other, except for the strip, strap length. The chains, this one is a little thinner. They're both light. Um, I wrote down the weight. This one is one pound and 6.5 ounces, and this is one pound and 4.8 ounces. So a little bit lighter, can wear it crossbody, um, over the shoulder, plenty of room. Okay, sorry, I got disrupted with a phone call. Um, so plenty, plenty of room to wear over, you know, coats and things like that. So now, what I'm going to do is put things in one bag and and just kind of show you that it is about the same. What does it fit? Medium large, in comparison to the jumbo, is much much smaller. I really have to downsize, and so. You know, I think I'm going to end up wearing this for like evening out, not every day, because I usually have to have my glasses, my clay, and maybe some wallet. But if I take this, I pretty much can't put anything else. Let me show you. This is a Sarah wallet by Louis Vuitton. Um, and I can put the Sarah wallet. There you go. I have a phone case. It's a 6S Plus. I put that in the front. And then I'll have the clay, which has my you know, credit cards and driver's license and my, my, um, uh, my keys. And then I will have a, I have another little clay here, which has my, you know, my uh, lipsticks and things like that. I'll put that here. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. See that? I suppose you could lay something little on top. You could maybe squeeze in a little lipstick or whatever. But you know what? I don't like to do that because I don't like to put like lipstick in a, you know, these luxury handbags because I don't want to ruin it. What if it cap comes off or what if it melts? I mean, I'm just not going to do that. And then I could and it's full, right? Okay. So let's put the same amount and see how it fits for the other one, the um, Mademoiselle purse. Okay, so set that aside. And here's my Mademoiselle purse. And oh, so beautiful. And this one has a smaller flap, which also gives you, because there's a smaller flap here, it gives you a little slot in the back to put some paperwork in. There is no little zipper up here. Um, but And it's all one big opening. It's made out of fabric inside versus leather. So if I put a sterile wallet, and remember there's no extra slot, and I will put a clay, clay with my keys, and then maybe a credit, um, no, I'm going to put this in. Um, That's it, right? If I take this arrow wallet out, because most likely people will not get, are not gonna use a huge wallet for that, and I will put, I have my clay and my, um, I have my clay and my, my little makeup clay pouch, and I'm gonna put a smaller wallet here and a card case. Okay, so. But again, I can't put my glass case in there. If I'm going to put my glass case in there, I'm going to have to take out, you know, those wallets. Okay, there we go. Fits. I would not want to overstuff either one of these bags. And I'm going to put exactly the same amount. See how that looks? I'm going to put exactly the same amount into the medium large. Okay, so I'll put this wallet. And I'll put a little card case, okay? And I shall put my clay, and this could be a key pouch for me. It has my lipstick and my pills. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in. Okay, and then I will put my phone my phone case, Success Plus, in the very front pocket, and look. It's very similar. This might have a little more room on the side, maybe, but you know what? 
it's it's like a little more room meaning maybe a lipstick it really it's very similar in size in fact when i measured it um when i measured it it's 10 inches here and i think here is here is 10 inches right and here is five and a half inches to the top versus six inches to the top. But if I measure like to where it ends, it's like five and a half. And yeah, this is a little shorter. It's a little bit shorter in height. Just like half an inch, right? Cause it's five. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe it is four and a half, four and three quarters maybe. Um, yeah, it's a tiny bit shorter. Uh, it's it's slightly bigger. This is so slightly bigger, but it is slightly bigger. Um, so there you have it. I hope this comparison helps um, in your deciding which one to get. They're very different than cost though, because this one currently in 2018 cost two five thousand three hundred plus tax, and this one I don't know if they make it. Last time I saw this was a couple months ago, and I think it was a couple months ago it was uh, selling for I want to say 3100 plus tax um, but regardless it's about oh, more than two thousand dollars difference from one to the other the caviar leather is a little stiffer than the sheepskin leather and I think just because it's pebbly that you're not gonna see the scratches as much but that said you know um, this one, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I have used it and I haven't, I don't see too many scratches that I have, but I'm also very, very careful. So this could be an everyday bag, but I would say that the, the, the toughness of the leather is probably more tough with a caviar, okay? So I hope this helps. And um, if you like this video, please subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye.